Here's an overview of how to use um, Loop Document Services to take data from Salesforce and put it into a fillable PDF. So here I'm on PDF Escape. It's a free service that you can sign up for. And I have a W4 form. So I go in here. And you can see I've already gone in and I've added a few fields. So in here you can see if, if we were to click on the field, we can look at the object properties and we can put the um, the name of the field. And so this is going to be, um, we start off by first creating a DDP. So here I created a DDP with a uh, W4 form name. The type is, is from a contact. And you can see I've already added the document. You would also establish any relationships for any custom objects that you would maybe want to pull in. But by default, if we go into our tagger, we know most of the fields. So here, I, you know, I have the account, contact account. And so the way I got that in there is I basically put in the pick the contact in the first last first name. So what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and just add the city into this. So we'll go and we'll copy that. Go back into our form and you'll click back onto this form. So we'll go ahead and right click on that and you'll see you get the option to unlock the form field. So we'll unlock it first. And then we'll go into object properties. And it had the default value that was in the form, and we'll replace it with mailing city. So I have first name, last name. I put in the full mailing street just to show you how that looks. And then here I'll put in the city. So let's go back to the DDP, and we'll save this, and we'll download this. Go back into the DDP. And so when I started, I started off by hitting this new document form that gives me the ability to upload a new document. But in this case, I'm going to just double click this field. So let me just close a few tabs here. I'll double click the existing one that I have and I'm going to replace it. So I'll hit replace and then I'll browse and upload it. Once I have it selected, I'll go ahead and replace document and it takes me back to the document. So if I go back to the DDP, the files are referenced there so we can go ahead and just rerun it now. So I'll go into um, a contact. So here I'm in a contact and I have some street information and I have the name. I'll start off by hitting the loop plus button. I'll select the W4 form and I'll select the only delivery option I have right now is download. So go ahead and hit run that. So that will pull the information from Salesforce, pull the document and give me a PDF to download. So we'll go ahead and click that. if we make that full screen and we scroll down, we'll see first name, last name, the street address, and again, I just pulled in the city into that field. Um, if you need to pull in different, in this case, you'll see there's city, state, zip. You'll meet, need to make three different fields to pull in all the values, or optionally, you could create a formula field in Salesforce that sort of puts all of those together and pass one value. So just to overview, um, we start off by creating our DDP, putting the field names from the tagger into those documents, saving that document, putting it into a DDP that has all the relationships, and then by testing it. Thank you very much. <laughs>